Hey, I worked out last night. You know what I did? I watched part three. Have you seen any of the Teddy Hart, that Teddy Hart documentary? Have you watched any of that? I started to. Ah, why'd you stop? Because I couldn't stop. I was man. at the gym yeah. on cables. And mm. it was making a lot of noise and, and they had the, the music piped in there going too. Yeah. And I couldn't give it justice. See, I knew Teddy from uh, when I was in Calgary. There was little Harry Smith and little Crazy Terry, or his uh, his dad on uh, BJ's gym uh, so so in Calgary. Is that how, is, and that was like three or four blocks away from the hotel. I said so. All the boys was a uh, BJ Annis. He was married to Stu Hart's oldest daughter, and then he, he started out wrestling uh, in the beginning with. But he was, I guess, he didn't pick it up very well. So uh, so he does. He ran the gym was what he did. But all the boys trained down there. And there was Harry Smith, who had long ass hair, and in and he was a little little kid. This was like nineteen. This was nineteen eighty now, and in uh, uh, Harry Smith. So Davy Boy, yeah, son, just, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And in and in and Teddy, Teddy was out there. He was awesome. He would be in the gym swinging on the chin bars and just being crazy. You knew he was going to be a nutcase, but this thing he had half BJ in him and half half a Stu Hart in him. So, but uh, what year would this been? This was 1980 when I was. Oh, it couldn't have there. been. First, it, it was not. No, no, no. Excuse no, me. He's only 1988. Excuse me. Thank you. I was Duh. Say, All right. No, Don't I'm yelling at me, man. I'm not. I'm, okay. I'm. I'm. I'm talking loud in the microphone, like okay, you always good. tell me. Not. Thank you. No, I tell you. No, too. no. I, no, my fault. 1988 okay. was when I was when I was in Calgary, and that's when that's when I met Teddy. And Teddy was just, he was phenomenal. And now he's so he, he's out there. He's like a movie star. Well, I don't. He, well, I just watched part three last night. Okay, it, that's why I went outside last night in the garage, Lila's gym, to finish up that documentary. So I um, and you're sitting there. How you think this ain't real? Because well, it, he's so out there, it's awesome. It is kind of hard to believe, <laughs> right. If any of it is real or not, and even the guy that made the documentary started questioning his own documentary, like how much of this is real mm -hmm. and how much of it is Teddy trying to be. Teddy, but so he was the youngest guy ever signed by the WWE, and then he was fired in in like no time. Well, he's probably the only guy who would do moon salts and everything else off the top of a cage and just l land like a fucking cat and not sell nothing or do anything. Yeah, they had that one Ring of Honor show where he did like four moon sal yeah. salts in a row, went off script or whatever. Now, if I was a fan, I'd go, Jesus Christ, wow. This yeah. is this this, but the guy said, "Oh man, don't do that. You can't do it. No, no, don't do that. That's too much." Yeah. But Teddy, hell, I'm getting a chance to get it. It's gonna be on tape. Hell, I'm I'm doing the some bitch. Yeah, but then he puked all over the place. Well, puked what the hell, the right? And... Haven't you ever puked in a ring before? No. Oh, I I almost did. Mondo almost made me puke, and I uh, made it to the bathroom. Not in not well, in the that, ring. That's good. I did puke in the uh, in the bathroom though. But do you remember when Teddy Hart came to your class at OVW? No, I don't. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. So in, in that documentary, you can see a couple clips when they're showing like uh -huh. highlights of him. A couple clips are in the new building, OVW clips. You can uh -huh. hear Dean Hill announcing one of the matches too. But I just remember him showing up for one of your classes. Uh -huh. Everybody's like, holy shit, Teddy Hart's here. Uh huh. And I mean, he was nice, cool, whatever, did all the shit. I remember you talking with him and stuff. I think he was only there for one day. At least in your class, I uh -huh. think I think at that time maybe they're they had split us again, uh -huh. and only I think maybe you were just doing. I think it's when you were doing basically like DCW class, right. and then maybe somebody else uh -huh. was doing contract or whatever. So I think he was doing both, but just yeah. came to hang out in yours for probably. A while. But yeah, yeah, he was. I just remember he was real outgoing, but real nice then, and you know he just did all the drills like everybody else. I mean, yeah, he was overqualified. But then you see him on this shit. But they always just said he got fired because of basically attitude. I mean, that was. Well, pretty much. So his dad then, his dad was not really a wrestler or he was? No, his dad, he started working for Stu. But uh, he owned the gym about three or four blocks away from the hotel where I stayed. And all the boys trained there. So Teddy was brought up with all of his aunts and uncles were wrestlers. So he just fit in and they'd treat him like one of the boys. So here he was a little kid 
Right, but I'm talking about his dad. So his dad just didn't keep wrestling? Like, he quit wrestling? Because on the thing, they act like his dad was a professional wrestler. Like, that was his... Well, he started out being a professional wrestler. But by the time I got there, he wasn't wrestling anymore. No. And he just ran the gym. Did he? Do you know how he met his uh, the heart, the mom? Did they meet, like, through wrestling? Or did he get into wrestling because of I, her? I have no idea. Yeah. Big gold and a billfold so swole that I can't get the shit closed. So I money fold and rubber band wrap and when it pops.